Girona put up a duck egg last week against Mallorca in unbelievably bad weather conditions. It was like blowing at 90 mile an hour. They couldn't control it and they were by far the better side. They're minus 165 now against Osasuna or plus 420. When you look at Osasuna on the road, regardless of who they're playing, you look and see what they are not to score. Uh, plus 148. I think Girona minus one at plus 102 is an absolute free hit. I think Girona get back to uh, winning ways here because they have got to be starting to question themselves. We're top. Everyone's talking about, will this be the Leicester of the Premier League like 10, 12 years ago? No. They're now struggling and fighting to even secure a proper European place. Uh, Klaus, Girona or Sasuna. I can't have anything but a Girona win. So the minus one at plus 102 is a free hit. And that's the thing. We, we got at that point in the season where at this point we're in match week uh, 29, if I'm not mistaken. And it's, it's listen, the reality is that this team popped. And we had those doubts through many. We thought it was going to be before, and I think we all did. We all thought Girona yeah. was going to go down before. They didn't. They actually managed to last a long time. But listen, when you have two wins in the last seven matches, definitely not doing things right. If there's one thing you kind of want to have at your home, at your stadium to play against, maybe, I don't know, Las Palmas, Almeria, Osasuna might be in, in, in that category as well. But listen, you look at Osasuna, you also look at the top 10 team. I mean, we, we talk trash about Osasuna here all along. You know, we don't respect them, whatever you want to say. But the reality is that they had a pretty decent season. So far, they're standing in top 10, 36 points, a decent amount of points for a club that always struggles between the middle and the bottom table. So, listen, on paper, sometimes I, I'm tired just because we, we start off in such a ripe momentum and then we haven't had a good result in the last couple of weeks. Sometimes when you when you try to think, things over you make it worse and that's what's been happening to me i'm trying to think think things way too hard and it, it's playing against me so on this one i wanted to make something weird happen out of it but i'm not i'm gonna go with Girona. i mean listen i think they're gonna get the three points it, it they should and they don't get the three points here after two wins in the last seven games against a team like osasuna at home then they're in serious trouble we i said it two weeks ago i think real madrid is automatic, automatically already the champion of this league but again the, i think and we talked about it as well, the fact that they've been up there all this time for them to end the season without a Champions League spot. I think it would be I think it would be very, very negative on them. So they should get the three points. Let's make it easier. Go with Girona. If you want to look at the goals, the over one and a half, they should be able to get one and a half, even though the numbers are not that juicy. That's what personally I didn't get involved with the numbers here. But definitely Girona to take the three points. Yeah, Girona definitely taking the three points. Gives you that free here of minus one, plus 102. Dovbik up front, the more and more I watch him, he's going to play for a top four side. If not, somebody like a Spurs in, in England and Manchester United have got to go and get him. He has good work ethic. He is just tailor-made for a bigger, better stage. Uh, Girona, back on winning ways for me this week, Oaks. Yeah, and I, I want to take a quick minute to talk about where the we don't respect Osasuna comes from. <laughs> and it comes from this exact scenario here. Osasuna doesn't look good to begin the season. They find their form. They are, they are bang average. They are number 10 in La Liga all the time. That's where they belong. They can go as high as 8. They can go as low as 12. But you're going to start to question yourself when you see a run like this, where Girona's won three of the last four and picked up points in four of the last five. But look who they've been playing. They played Sociedad. They played uh, Cadiz. They played Las Palmas with the draw. And then they just beat Alaves at home 1-0. It's not like Osasuna's impressing. They're playing just good enough to pick up some points. We told you guys Girona had an absolute bear of a schedule this time of year, and this is when the Girona wagon was going to struggle, and that's why they couldn't be Leicester. Uh, because you just, you know, you went through a tough one with Sociedad uh, that was nil-nil. Then you lose 4-0 to Madrid because you walked into the Bernabeu, and that's what happens. Um, you played a really great game, 3-2 with Bilbao, but Bilbao prevails in the Basque country. That's just what they do. And then we all knew that game on the island with Mallorca was going to be tough. This is a get-right game, and I actually, 
I stayed away from this at first until before the show when we were re-looking at the numbers because I like Girona in the team total over one and a half, but it was juiced to like minus 120, and then I'm looking at your card, Flash, and I see the minus one at plus 102. That's the same bet. I need Girona to win 2 nil which I think they're going to do to cash. And if they win one nil, then it's not a loss. It's a push and money back. So I really like the minus one here, especially at a plus number. Girona is at home. They will get right here. Um, They just have way too much firepower up top. Like you mentioned, Dovbeck, his aerial presence is so good. Um, You guys all know what I think of Savio. and, And I've been saying it all year. And I believe City is going to end up trading Savio to themselves from Girona at the end of the season so yeah it'll be interesting here Girona does need to kind of pick their heads up and and remember who they are and and play their brand of football and I think without the weather conditions in Mallorca we see a little bit of a different result but here at home they're going to bounce back and they're going to do it in in a good statement versus a Osasuna side who like I said is bang average perfect but both of you, perfect. Girona last week, the weather completely killed their brand of football and they were still miles better. If I told you that they got beat 1-0 and the home side had one shot on goal in the whole game and that was a ricocheted shot that went to the feet of a player seven yards out and he put it into basically an empty net. Yep. That's how unlucky Girona were. Uh, so for me, I forgive them that because I think elements were against them. So now you take Girona plus 102, minus one, fill your boots, gets us off to a winning start. Let's have a little look at the official pick. It's strange that I'm on this Girona. Oh no, Girona, minus one. We're both on it. Two units uh, uh, plus 102 means we win 204 units. And uh, the Girona train driver's not on it, which is a bit scary no. that we're running away without the. Uh, man with his hat on. Okay.